surprised by the size of that rocket. It's massive! Uh, rockets are big. You know the ballistic coefficient you need to accommodate atmospheric drag? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's high. That's the size. So, what's it like to know so much about stuff no one else cares about? Go ahead and bite in your ignorance, man. Not my problem. Glad we agree. Cheers! Kate, your headaches, they're really gone? Yeah, as soon as we killed the matriarch, they ended. I haven't had one since. And, and this idea you have about your mother being... It's not an idea. I saw her. I saw whatever she is now. Kate, I'm guessing that's the Water Tower Paddock mission. We're going to check it out. I wonder how Jen's going to react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Sound of a tool shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> Firm no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Baird, we're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? The secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. I think we can... Well, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. I'm glad you could write my discussion. Thanks for that. Here's our way in. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock, we're here. Listen, during our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Fate's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office. There's our security terminal. I need a way for Jack to access it. Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. 
Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. Same for you, Jack, do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. I can't believe Baird secretly a gun runner. You're having trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, we can put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock Civil War and the weather, it crawled in anywhere. <laughs> Something. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> oh, hard shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? <laughs> So, all the exits are blocked, now what?
Jack, activate that crane. Well, that didn't work. Let me try another one. Let's hope this one holds. Jack, let's do it again. Get in there, Jack. That's the ticket. Come on, we can get out this way. DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. Look out! Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead! Beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, more of them.
Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the castle. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls at the base. Maybe. 
We need Jack to verify the beacons are okay. Come on. Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <sighs> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. Get the other side. You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably clear out the rest of the school. He's lost enough people today. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much using a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me. No better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. <laughs> we got swarm, people! Get behind those sand glass things! Not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. 
JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Foss, Del. Why don't you get the other side? Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying it into my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? That's gory technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So are Paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Bear trusts Paddock, we trust Bear. It's all about a transit of property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transit transitive wolf? Book spas. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. We're getting close to that water tower again. But the swarms seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Qadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Adfield's just ahead. <laughs> Mark the skip as close as you can. I think it's kind of heavy. And so we meet again.